Good morning, uh, I'm Marwan Crady, the director of the Center for Advanced Research and Global Communication. Welcome to the second episode of CARD Books. And my guest today um, is Will Yeomans from George Washington University. Um, Will just gave a talk about his new book, An Unlikely Audience, Al Jazeera Struggle in America, out this fall from Oxford University Press. Hi, Will. Hello, thank you for having me. My pleasure. What led you to write this book? Well, it all started really with my dissertation. Um, and Something that I was really interested in was uh, Al Jazeera English's coverage, uh, and I, you know, I was actually searching for a topic, and because I was watching so much Al Jazeera English, it kind of got me on that this track. And I had wise advisors who said, you know, if you're so interested in it, maybe you should write your thesis about that. But then, so many interesting things happened after I turned my dissertation in, and I continued to study the the operation, and it became. Uh, so much more sophisticated and complex and then I led the new channels like Al Jazeera America and AJ Plus and I found myself with a natural sort of comparative study between different channels that were all trying to build an audience in the US. And so the book is completely different than the dissertation uh, because so much has happened and it's a lot more theoretically sophisticated I'd say. Okay, and what are the main claims you make in the book? So I, I became very interested in the idea of locationality in international communication in terms of this global media company that's not just operating as some appendage of Doha, the headquarters there, the corporate headquarters, but that actually became located and situated within key cities in the U.S. and to what effect being in those cities uh, had in terms of uh, how they came to identify themselves, each sort of channel, and the kind of the content that they were putting out. And tell me a little more about how you use the, develop the notion of port of entry. Right. So, yeah, so more, port of entry is the key uh, construct that I came up with to sort of think, of think about how when global media companies are entering new markets, how the locational decision matters because there are different attributes for different cities. Um, and so I'm thinking of them as different kinds of ports of entry into national markets. And so what does it mean to base your uh, media company, your foreign media company, in New York City versus Washington, D.C. versus San Francisco, which is what Al Jazeera sort of did. And so each city inflected and affected the way that uh, these channels came to work and identify themselves. Everything from sort of who they hired, well, they hired locally. Who did they service work out to, like PR and advertising and distribution, sort of advocacy? Well, they hired locally. And so they became assimilated to local industries in each city. And so really, for me, the larger contribution to global media scholarship is, is thinking about media capitals, but through the lens of a global media company that's on the move. And so it's really about uh, understanding the, the relationship between global media processes and local contexts in media production and distribution. So that's so the main contribution to global communication studies uh, basically is refocusing the attention on the role of, of place, um, how global media, not just global media texts and content, but global media companies get themselves domesticated exactly. when they hit local markets? Exactly. I think because we've overemphasized spatial processes, including the idea of these flows moving everywhere, and we've sort of lost sight of um, what, what these very important uh, economic centers do for those kinds of flows and constituting and sort of redirecting them. Okay, and what's next for you? What are you working on now? Well, I'm working on a very exciting documentary that is, up, is feeding in a, a larger study about uh, sort of Arab Americans um, and media advocacy uh, in terms of representation from the 1980s. So, uh, and the 1980s and on to the present day. So it's really kind of related to this and that I'm interested in the transnational processes of larger U.S. Arab relations. Although my next work with this documentary and uh, probably the book project well, we'll be thinking about this sort of marginal situatedness of, of the Arab American population where they struggle for uh, defining their own citizenship against negative media um, representation and governmental uh, restrictions and, and suspicions. And so it's building on my paper about CIA representation and what that, what the CIA, sorry, recruitment of Arab Americans did in terms of defining their, their citizenship. Um, in the Detroit area, so hopefully it'll all come together. Okay, well, um, my guest today uh, was uh, Will Yeomans from George Washington University discussing his book, An Unlikely Audience, A Jazeera Struggle in America. Um, Will, thank you very much for being thank with you. us. Um, see you next time for Card Books, Episode 3. Thank you.